is going to be honored in the Ring of Honor. Thank you for making it here. Thank you. Thanks well, for having me. Making it in. Always good to see Stuck you. Stuck in traffic. Right? We almost were afraid you'd miss breakfast. <laughs> Sorry about that. Because yeah. the last time she came on, he said, hey, where's breakfast on breakfast television? So how do you like your eggs? Over easy. Over easy. Oh, we has one at Scramble. We're going over easy for G-Ride. Well, follow the man. It's your day tomorrow. It must be nice to come back. And what an honor to have, one, a day named after you, and two, the jersey being retired. What's, what's the feeling like going in to tomorrow? It's an amazing feeling, and it's, it's exciting. Um, you know, the for the Lions to you know retire my jersey and put me in the Ring of Honor. That's that's an amazing uh, accomplishment. I, I'm I'm really grateful to them, and then the city of Vancouver to uh, make it G. Roy Simon Day. I'm, I'm I'm excited about that as well. I saw the video that the BC Lions released on uh, Facebook, where they can send in their well wishes to you for tomorrow. And one of the things that resonated uh, greatly was the fact that you said, "This is my home," and you spent a lot of time obviously in Regina you are a part of that uh, that CFL team mm -hmm. professionally now moving forward but this is your home this is where you yeah, live. Yeah BC and Vancouver is always going to be my home um, you know no matter what happens we'll always you know keep a house here and, and, and uh, plan on staying here you know it's, it's just been a great place for me and my family for the last 12 years and I can't see myself um, picking up and leaving right you know just you know no matter no matter what I'm doing. Well 15 successful seasons in the CFL how do you know what's that moment when you realize Okay, it's time to walk away. We know you won the Great Cup with the Green Guys <laughs> last year, but how do you know it's that time to, to walk away? Well, for me, it was um, it was just a matter of I, I wasn't going to go and play for a bunch of different teams. When the riders said that I wasn't in the plans, and um, then I didn't you know didn't work out here in BC, I I didn't want to go and play for anybody else. So I said, let's move on with with life and 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 move on to the next career. And 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 that was you know you know signing with working working with the riders in their front office and and moving on. And a lot of people ask him the question, well, if he's moving on, why is he the, an ambassador for the Lions? Why is he the ambassador for, for the Riders? What do you have to say for, for, for that choice? Well, the Riders gave me the opportunity right away, and, and they gave me an opportunity to learn uh, right under their GM and, 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 um, and their front office staff. I can't say what will happen in the future. I'm not sure. Um, you know, like I said, BC is always going to be my home, and, you know, there might be an opportunity here um, in the future, but as of right now, I'm just I'm, I'm a member of the Riders, and, and, and I'm going to just do my best. There. Would you consider doing some broadcast work? Oh, I would definitely do it. I would love to. You have the face for TV, <laughs> my friend. Come on. I would definitely love to do it. I just, I just have to find the right opportunity and, and see who would give me that shot. And you're going to be doing some NFL work as well, you were saying? Yeah, I'm, I'm going on the road on Monday. Uh, I'm, I'll be in five different cities scouting some NFL teams, uh, starting off going to uh, West Virginia, Sulphur Springs, West Virginia, to scout the New Orleans Saints. So that'll be my first NFL experience as a scout. Always going, always <laughs> hustling, g -Roy is. And as we look back, man, there have been so many great moments with the BC Lions and obviously with the Blue Bombers that you played for and, and the Riders. But if we uh, look specifically at your uh, legacy, here with the BC Lions. What are some of the memorable moments? Maybe one moment that really stood out to you. Well, the the, the best moment is probably winning a Grey Cup in 2006. That was that was my first Grey Cup that I'd won, and my first championship I won as a football player. So, um, I would say that was my the, the greatest moment for me. I'm uh, blinded by this ring right here. Yeah, that's our 2011 Show the bling, ring. baby. <laughs> but uh, yeah, 2006 Grey Cup and, and uh, you know winning in 2011 was also a great experience because you know to start. 0 and 5 and then win a great cup. It's it's uh it's it's a great it's a great feeling. You turn it around. Breakfast coming along nicely here. See, this is how you, you, you can't miss out on the breakfast <laughs> television <laughs> experience. <laughs> There it is right there. And this awesome. ring right here, this is the Lions ring? Yeah, this is the Lions ring from 2011. Mm -hmm. And um, obviously it's, it was well, we hold that up, get it's the cool something side. that's really special to me. Yeah. Um, you know, like I said, the way we started the season and the way we ended, we we ended it was it was a great feeling to you know win the Great Cup at home. It was it was something that that you know I'll never forget. Well, your role was a real unique one last year, going from not just player but more of a mentor to the younger players. What is the advice you give to those that want to follow suit in your footsteps and and accomplish what you did? Well, I would just say you know just just. You know, give it everything you got, and you know you're going to have some ups, you're going to have some downs, you're going to have a lot of people telling you that um, you're not good enough. But you know, you just got to you know stick with it and believe in yourself and, and keep working at it. Are you going to come and uh, party at the Grey Cup here this year? Oh, I will. I will definitely be here at the Grey Cup this year. So next uh, time you're in town, we'll get you here a little bit earlier and make you an even bigger breakfast. You can tell us what your favorite is. Sounds good.